Abdurrahman, if you could choose one person, just one person you could live with, who would you choose? The most fun person you know? Hudda. Hudda, your cousin? Okay, Maureen, who would you choose? <laughs> who would you choose? <laughs> just give me a name, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy. Oh. Assalamu alaikum, we are the Azharis and today I'm joined by... Abdullah and Azharirx. Where's your Azharirx? Oh, there, okay. And... Um, Abdul Rahman and Asri Where's your Asri <laughs> Yeah, okay, and... I'm Salim, 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 Asri Okay. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> and Salim, Asri And? My name is Asri Saurus. Oh, okay. it's Asri Yeah, it's Asri <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, one day the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam... Good. He heard that there was an army that was going to attack the Muslims <gasps> and they were far away in a desert. So, he said that we need to go across that desert. Okay. Abdurrahman, what's in a desert? Lizards. Lizards? And chameleons. Chameleons, okay. Camels. Camels. And also, what's on the floor? Uh, sand. Sand, good. Donkeys, now, donkeys. Donkeys. On the floor. Water, water. Okay, all right. <laughs> now. The companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they were all getting ready for the battle, getting things ready, okay? Well, what there was battle? one where they had to go to this army and meet them across the desert. What? Now, there was one companion, one friend, his name was Kaab, okay? Kaab, 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 yes. He said that I will get ready tomorrow or the following day or the following day. And do you know who was whispering to him? Who? Guess. Shaitan. Abdurrahman. How do we whisper? Whisper something into my ear. No, Show me how we whisper. <laughs> That's a nice whisper. Mariam, there's a surah that Allah tells us where shaitan whispers to us. Yes. Do you know what surah that is? I know. I'll give you a clue. Qul. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Fala, I knew that one. You knew that one, yes. So. What happened is, Kaab said, later I will get ready because Shaitan was whispering him and telling to him, was whispering to him and telling him, I will come later. You can get ready later. You can always get ready tomorrow and the following day. And when Shaitan whispers to us, what should we do, Mo? We should just ignore him and think what our mind is telling us to do. Okay. Not what our ears are telling us to do. Okay, that's one way of saying it. But when there's a good deed, should we do it straight away or should we wait, Abdullah? You should do it straight away. Good. Okay, so let's <laughs> test this, Abdurrahman. Like this. Let's say. Uh, like huh? Okay, straight away. Okay. <laughs> when it's time for getting ready to go to bed, should we go straight away so we can rest our bodies or should we delay? Um, go straight away. Good. Do you do that at night time with me? No. Okay. All right. Now, coming back Last to the story. Night, okay. He went to sleep the latest. Did he? Yeah. Okay. I think so, I went to sleep the latest last night. Okay. Actually. So when it comes to doing good deeds, what do we do? We rush. We do it straight to away. Do them. Who wants to get the Azri pads? Okay. Abdullah, pass over the Azri pads. We're at home with the Azri. Now, everybody watching at home, I want you to open up your workbooks, go past the sticker page, go past the reward chart and go to the last page for this particular episode. What you'll see there is your Azheri pad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain a word to the Azheris here and I want you as well to draw the word I'm going to explain. You will have 10 seconds, just like everybody here. And let's see if you can race and beat the Azheris to draw the best picture in the quickest time. If you don't have the workbook, it's not a problem. You can always do it on a piece of paper or anything else that you have at home. So the first question, okay, for the Azhari pads is, you have 10 seconds at home, okay, to draw. If you were going to cross a desert, okay, what would you pack in your bag? Ready, steady, bismillah. If you're going across a desert, what would you pack in your bag, Abdurrahman? I'm done. That was very quick. Wait for everybody else. Time's still going. Hello. 
<laughs> okay, time. Let's have a look, Marion. What do you have? Let's see. Oh, Abdullah, you're first. What do you juice. have? You would pack juice. juice. Okay. Abdurrahman, what would you pack in your bag if you're crossing the desert? Okay. Well, let's look at Mariam's. You're first. Go, Mariam. If I were to cross the desert, I would have water with me. Water. And Abdurrahman, what do you have? Let's have a look. We can show everybody at home. Water. Water. Is this Lots water? Lots of packets of water. Lots of packets of water. Good. Right. So, Kaab was very worried, okay, because you know what happened? He delayed and delayed and delayed, and then the Muslims had gone all the way to the far off battle, come all the way back, and he was still delaying. Did you know that, Abdullah? He was still he delaying. called me Abdullah. I said Abdullah. He said Abdullah. Abdullah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Abdullah. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> now, when the Prophet Muhammad came Salah back Salah. to the masjid, okay, yeah. everybody was coming back and they were greeting him, and Kaab went to the masjid. Do you think he lied and said that? He didn't go because he had a particular reason. Abdullah, what do you think? Oh, yeah. No. Is lying allowed, Abdurrahman? Is lying good? Is lying haram? Yeah. So it's neither of those. <laughs> okay. So lying isn't good. Is lying is not allowed. We should never lie. What happens when we lie, uh, Mariam? When the angels on our shoulders write down the left one. The left one. Okay. This one, this one. Yes. This one. Apparently this, this one. one. This one. The this left one. one. Apparently the left one. this one. Apparently. Okay. <laughs> and write down a bad deed. Good. And what do I always say? If you tell the truth, no matter what happens. You don't get in trouble. Good. One okay. day he's going Now, so Kaab was there and one day he, as Abdullah said, saw his cousin. Okay. And Abdurrahman, when we meet somebody, okay, what should we what should we say to them when you meet somebody? Wa alaikum salam. Yes, but when you start the salam, what do you say, Mariam? Salam. Are you going to the question? Good. Okay. So Kaab said, "Assalamu alaikum." What do you think his cousin did? He ignored him. Yes, he ignored him. Now, Mariam, let's say you make a mistake. What should you do? Say sorry. And you should ask Allah for. Forgiveness. Good. So Kaab made a mistake. He didn't get ready for the battle straight away. So he's asking Allah for forgiveness day and night. He's really there asking Allah for forgiveness. Now, Abdurrahman, if you could choose one person, just one person you could live with, who would you choose? The most fun person you know. Huda, your cousin. Okay. Marim, who would you choose? Dad, please don't choose me. <laughs> Who would you choose? Mm -hmm. Just give me a name, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy. Oh. Abdullah, yes. Who Lisa. would you... oh, your cousin? Okay. <laughs> All right. So imagine Mariam, if you had nobody. How would you feel? Sad. Sad. Okay, now Cab had nobody. Nobody to speak to, nobody to go to, he was all alone. Now before we continue the story, who wants to do competition time? <laughs> Okay, everybody, competition time. <laughs> okay. We're at home with the Azaris. Now, everybody watching at home, I want you to open up your workbooks, go past the sticker page, go past the reward chart, and go to the last page for this particular episode. What you'll see there is competition time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask a question, and in your workbooks, you'll find two possible answers. I want you to circle what you think is the correct answer as quick as you can. And let's have a competition and see if you can beat the Azharis here. I'm going to ask them the same question as well. It's two points for every correct answer. Now, if you don't have a workbook, it's not a problem. You can write down the answer on a piece of paper or anything else that you have at home. What do or what time do we break our fast? Be zidni. Is it number one, Maghrib, or number two, Isha? Number one for Maghrib, number two for Isha. What do you think? Let's have a look. Abdullah. Aha, number one. Abdurrahman? Number one. Did you have any help with that? Okay, all right. And Mariam? No, he didn't. Number one. Okay, Abdullah, you can move everybody up. Everyone got the answer right, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Let's move on to the next question. 
<laughs> so the answer is number one, Maghrib is when we break our fast. Now, question number two, you ready? Good boy, you ready? Okay. When does Allah specifically accept our du'as? Is it before Fajr or is it before Dhuhr? When is there a special time? There's a special time that Allah will accept our du'as. Is it before Fajr or is it before Dhuhr? What do you think? Number one for Fajr, number two for Dhuhr. Hold on, let everybody do it. Okay. Number one for Fajr. Yes, Abdurrahman. Number one, aha. Did you have any help? All right, you sure? Okay, and you? Number one, Abdullah. Number one, correct. So correct answer is number one. Before Fajr. You can do the magnets? Yeah. yeah, go on. Everyone got the answer right. MashaAllah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Let's move on to the next question. Now, which foot is it sunnah to put your shoe in first? Number one for left, number two for right. So when you're putting your shoes on, is it sunnah to start with your left foot? or your right foot. Number one for left, number two for right. Okay, Marin, let's have a look. Okay. Number two, Abdurrahman. Number two, did you have any help with that? No, All number right. two. Number two, very good. So, the turn correct, the your turn, yes. Number two on the sledge. Everyone got the answer right, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. So Kaab was there for 50 nights. He was asking Allah for forgiveness all by himself. Then suddenly he heard a voice coming from Mount Safa. Safa. Do you remember who ran between Mount Safa and Marwa? Who? Hajar. Yes, exactly. Whispering because it's a secret answer. Okay, but everyone can still hear. <laughs> okay, so the answer is Hajar. She ran between Mount Safa and Marwa, and there was a man that came and he was shouting and he was saying, Kaab, Allah has forgiven you. Allah has forgiven you. So, Abdullah, imagine that you were, something happened, you were so happy, maybe like you passed a test or something really good happened. Yeah. What would you do? Say Alhamdulillah. Excellent. Kaab, you know what Kaab did? Let me kissed me on the head. That's all right. You know what Kaab did? <laughs> Shall I tell you, Abdullah? <laughs> Shall I tell you what, what he did? did. You what know what he did? did? He was so happy and excited. He was wearing a jacket. He took the jacket off and he gave it to the man who told him that Allah has forgiven you. He was so happy to hear the news, can you believe? So then he had to go and get another top to go to the masjid to see the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when he got there, funny. it is funny, isn't it? He was so happy that Allah had forgiven him. Then when he got to the masjid, he went there and there was lots of people shaking hands. There was one person there, Abdurrahman, just one person who gave him a hug. And he remembered his name, Abdullah. Why do you think he remembered his name out of all of the other people? Because they were in the cab. Because what did that person do? He gave him a jacket. A chocolate. A jacket. <laughs> a jacket, no. He gave him a hug. Hug, good. So he was the only one to give him a hug. And he gave him a hug, it made him feel special. So when somebody's upset or somebody has something, you know, they want to share, we should always try and help them and make them feel better. Better and special. Good. So that brings us to the end of this episode where we learned about the story of Kaab and we learned that whenever we do a good deed, whenever there's a good deed to do, should we take our time or should we do it quickly? Do it quickly. Take our time or do it quickly, Abdurrahman? Do it quickly. You sure? Good. Okay. So everybody say salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Don't forget your workbooks and your Azhari source on Azhari Lex from theazharis.com to be able to win a prize. Clips of July. And write the name of your favourite character in the comments. Details in the description. <laughs>